Hi everybody. Well, here it is. I finished the shed. It's a 10 by 12 shed. Not bad looking. And uh, it should hold a lot. What is that? It's something like a flat tire in it. <laughs> and uh, it's a nice storage shed. Has vents on it. And windows. It's braced up for snow conditions. Look at the windows. Isn't that neat? Vents in the back. I gotta say, this thing was difficult to build. And it says, the manual says three to four people to build it. Yeah. Yep. But I did it. So let's go inside. It's got a nice locking latch here. And uh, very roomy. And, and over here it has pull down latches. Just pull them down and lock. If you want it, to, it got the patience and the time to build the shed. It's a nice shed. This is inside here. Got to clean up yet. And there's the windows. Actually, it has windows. You look out in the garden in the back. All the, all the braced up snow beams. Locks up nice. Look, here's the inside vents right here. Let's see what it looks like inside here. Shut the doors. Look at that. Because it's got windows, you got light in here. Now this shed comes with two clear sheets, roofing sheets here, but I didn't use them because I don't want anything coming in melting in the sun. So I, I'm gonna put a floor in here, yeah. But what I'm gonna do, I'm not gonna put the shed on the floor. It's gonna shed's gonna be on the pavement. The floor is going to go above it, right here, right here, like that. So, uh, uh, water will bead off away from all the items I'm going to store in here. So this is not, not a bad shit. What I like about it is, it actually has hinged doors. None of those old-fashioned sliding doors like sheds I'm used to be familiar with. So, that's it. I thought I'd just do a quick video here. I even got insulators that cover all the screws. I've got a lot of those i got to put on yet. Rainy day job. But, uh, yeah, this shed, it, it is a difficult shed to build. It is possible to do it yourself. I did it myself. Look at look at this. Requires three to four people. Seven to ten hours constantly. No, it, it takes longer than seven to ten hours. I built it myself. So it, it definitely possible to do it yourself if you're gonna buy a shed like this. And uh, the shed was available on Amazon, of course, what else? This is the number of the shed if you want to buy a shed like this. A lot of time, a lot of difficult, but uh, it's a nice shed when it's done. And it, I'm going to be storing a lot into this shed. So there you have it, another addition to the blueberry farm here. And uh, I like the color, it's a barn type shed. And uh, it really is nice when it's built. But prepare yourself if you're going to get a shed like this. This is not an easy uh, thing to build. Alright, buddy, I thought I'd just share this video. What's going on in Blueberry Farm. And uh, this is nice. It's like a little house. <laughs> you could actually live in it. One, one person living in a house like this watertight so 
everything's numbered. If you don't go according to the manual, building it piece by piece, as the manual says, you'll never get it built. You have to build it according to the manual. All right. Hope you enjoyed this little what's going on on a blueberry farm here. Please like, share, and subscribe, everybody, and stop by again. Bye.